Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to go over the process of how to embed a Google Form link into a WordPress article. So first things first, as we always start with these videos, we need to have a pre-existing pre Google Form already up. Now once you have everything edited as you desire, so you have all the sections filled in, you can then simply just look for the link that will give people access to the Google Form. So to do this, we go to the upper right as usual, hit the send button, look for the link button, select that, and select your link. Just for this video, I'm going to shorten the URL and copy it. Once it's been copied to your clipboard, you're then going to want to open your WordPress website. Specific, specifically in the editor's form. So as you can see, I have a WordPress um, blog already up. It's in the editor's page, so I can basically access and make any changes I want to this WordPress. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is select or at least access the page where you want the link to be embedded. So for my case, I'm going to open a blog I had already been starting on. Once it's been opened, as you can see, there are multiple sections where you can add text. But in this case, we're trying to add a link. Now, what I like to do to kind of add the link, but without taking away attention from the content content of the vlog, or to at least add a little bit of like visual aspect to it, I like to embed the link into a little link symbol. So, so to do this, Let's just move our little screen over to the left so you can see the left side of the computer. As you can see in the upper left corner, there are a set of buttons. Now, first things first, you're going to want to hit the blue plus button. So once you've hit it, you're going to see a menu kind of pops up. So let me just move my screen so you can see the menu. As you can see, there are different texts and other features you can add to your WordPress website. Now, in our case, we're going to want to look for the social icons option. Once you've clicked this, as you can see, depending on whichever section you had previously selected, this is where the social icon will appear. Now, what you're going to want to do is then go to the upper or no, sorry, the right side of this new section, hit that plus button. And as you can see, there are options of different icons you can add. Now, in our case, we're just adding a Google Form link, so we're going to select link. Once you select the link, you can then click that new link button that they've added to your WordPress website. And as you can see, it's asking for an address. Now, since we already have the Google Form link already copied to our clipboard, we can simply just paste it right there. Now, as you can see, we've then just embedded the link into our little WordPress website. Now, just so you guys get an idea of how this works, I'm going to show you a preview of what this looks like. So look to the upper right, you can hit the preview button and it'll open a preview in a new tab. So this is what it would look like if someone, if a viewer was trying to look at your WordPress website and if they were to ever come across the Google form or at least the link button here and they were to select it, as you can see, once you select it, it brings you directly to the Google form. Hopefully, this helps you guys better manage your Google Forms and any online marketing data collection you might be doing. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help with data collection management, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using the link on the upper right corner or below the video. See you next time.